Welcome to Wreck at Home and day two of our cherry blossom activities. Today we will be stringing cherry blossoms. The first step is to get an empty egg carton. What are we doing with this? Well, it's actually going to be our cherry blossoms. Here's an example that I made. To do this, take off one section of the carton, so where one egg used to be. We want four petals. I see two here already, so let's split this section to be two more petals by carefully cutting a little V shape. Then carefully use your scissors to make those petals less pointy, a little bit more rounded. We want them to be not too tall either, as you can see here. Step two is to paint your blossoms. We want a pink color. White and what color make pink? Red. We want a light pink, so use more white paint than red. This is a little bit dark for me still, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more white paint. Ooh, do you like that pink color? I do too. Then just use your paintbrush to paint inside and outside of all of your blossoms. The cherry blossom is the flower of the cherry tree. In many countries around the world, cherry blossoms have come to symbolize the transition from winter to spring. They also represent renewal and the fleeting nature of life because cherry blossoms are only here for a short time. Okay, mine are pretty much dry, so now I'm going to paint the bottom. A tip here is to let it dry upside down, like this. Step three is to poke a hole with your scissors into the bottom of each blossom. Make sure to have an adult help with this step. Okay, a tip that I found is to very slowly twist the scissors to make the hole. Now for the branches. I actually went outside and found some small, thin sticks. I looked for ones that were mostly straight. You could use pipe cleaners too. I'm going to use these two, I think. You want your holes to be big enough that the stick fits through it, but not so big that your petal falls off the stick. This looks about right. I'm gonna do three on this stick and I'm gonna space them out kind of on the top half. Remember, all cherry trees are different, so yours can totally look however you want it to look. I like how this stick has many different parts. So let's stick a blossom here and then stick another one on this small branch. What I can do here is also get some yellow beads and since this stick is small enough, I'm going to add beads to this one as well. The beads represent the stigma. That's the center of the flower where pollen is received. And here's the final product. I think that these would look really pretty displayed in a vase or a cup to show that spring is here. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you like how your cherry blossom turned out too. See you next time for Wreck at Home. Bye!